Good morning, how are you? Glad you could join me today. It's Saturday morning, May the 2nd, I believe. Here in these COVID times, Texas has loosened the restrictions. And we're able to go into stores now, able to go to restaurants, although limited to a 25% capacity. It's not as crazy as you might think that might be. Uh, people didn't flood the restaurants. People didn't flood stores yesterday, uh, trying to get out and about and do things they haven't done in a month. Uh, but anyway, so I, I thought I'd just kind of hang out on the patio today. I am going to kind of splice a few videos together from this morning because this is a project that I'm going to do. Um, it's not going to be a complicated project. It's not going to be a project I'm going to ask you to do. But it is a project that requires duct tape, a trash bag, a razor blade, something round like this. This happens to be a cooking dome for my griddle. I'm gonna use a square piece of board. I've got a tub of water right here over my right shoulder. I've got blue paint, white paint, and red paint. It's gonna take a little bit of creativity and it requires one other thing, which I will let you know what that is shortly. So, hang in there. I'm gonna start by laying a bunch of strips with the sticky side up on this board so that I can go to town with my razor. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Hey, you're back. So now that you've seen how I laid out my tape, long strips, slightly overlapping each one, we're gonna move on with the next phase of my project. I'll take this, uh, lay, this little razor blade here and I'm gonna make a design in the tape. Okay, now I don't know what design I'm gonna make and I hope I make it right the first time, otherwise I'm gonna have to go back and create a new bed of tape as you see here. And that took a little bit of time. That's why I made the video go super fast so you wouldn't be wasting your time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put the video down and let's see what we can come up with. I was pretty good at geometry. Pretty sure that's not a perfectly done triangle. But for our purposes, it will work. There we go. Woot, woot. There we go. Awesome, we got a triangle now. Sweet. Whew. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on pause and I'll be right back. Well, I've created a design. I cut a hole out of the white trash bag. See that there? A 13 gallon white trash bag. The design lays square, put the design in the middle. Cut a hole out of the trash bag and I placed the trash bag hole over the design so that the design is exposed. The trash bag is not covering the design, but the trash bag is attached to the duct tape, the remaining parts of the duct tape on the outside um, with the duct tape, the sticky stuff, right? So the last component of my project that I did not tell you about, the last ingredient 
is we need a canvas. So this is kind of art, right? So I got spray paint, got an X-Acto knife for a cutting blade. I've got a trash bag. I've got duct tape. I've got a design. I even used a dome from my griddle to help me cut the trash bag, which worked pretty effectively. I've even got a bucket of water over here. So, what are we gonna put the duct tape to? Have you thought about it yet? We're gonna put the duct tape right here, people. And the portion that I cut out, the design, hopefully will run right around the center of my head. Yes, sir. We're gonna hydro dip my bald head. Uh, I gotta put this stencil on here, this duct tape and trash bag to keep the paint off of the rest of me. Uh, and then we will uh, get the spray paint ready and uh, we'll go, we'll go uh, bald head bobbin here in a second and see what we can come up with as far as a hydro dipped bald head. All right, folks. We put the duct tape stencil on the old bald head. I'm gonna load up the uh, bucket of water over here with a little bit of spray paint. And then we're gonna go bobbin for paint and see what we come up with, okay? And I, I just hope this stencil is applied appropriately because I don't know, I may have streams of spray paint running down my back. Maybe it runs down the side of my face. It may be more of splatter art. It may be more of a disaster. But I got nowhere to go for a while. I, uh, I can maintain here at the, uh, the old Casa and uh, thought this might be kind of fun. Anyways, I'll readjust, put the camera somewhere where you can see what I'm doing and we'll get after it. All right, folks, here we are. Gonna start loading up the old bucket of water with some spray paint, Let's shake them up. And then we're gonna go head bobbing for paint. Here we go. if it worked we'll have to find out here shortly got the bag kind of curled up so the paint doesn't draw into my clothing or anything else around here uh, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to take this off and I'll be back all right folks here's the grand reveal I've removed the tape it's still very wet so I'm 
I'll clearly have some drippage. All right, here we go. Now, here's the challenge. I can't see crap when I put my face down. So I'm gonna have to go review the video and see what it looks like. Uh, maybe I'll add something here towards the end. Anyways, hope you had some fun. Uh, that's what all these videos are about, is fun. I kind of have fun doing them. And, uh, you know, got some extra time, why not have a little fun? And hopefully you've been able to enjoy some of these videos and maybe brightens your Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, whenever I get them posted. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys stay safe and stay clean. And then you go out, go out and be smart about it, all right? People just don't get sick. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, folks. Here's the... Uh, after Jeff saw it reveal because I just watched I just looked at it myself. And holy cow. It worked. It actually worked um, Good thing is I can Shave I can shampoo I can shower I can get it off probably quick at least I hope Anyhow, I'm gonna bring the camera up over my head so you can view this uh, art What do you think, people?